United Way requested $2 million in emergency funds early this winter to help with housing and utility costs. Last week, in the wake of the coronavirus, the Nevada Attorney General's Office approved the funding, which is part of previously announced settlement agreement with Wells Fargo. Orko Mana explains how Nevadans in need can get a piece of the pie. The COVID-19 pandemic has left thousands of Nevadans without a job or with reduced work hours. The $2 million in emergency assistance is meant to help those struggling to pay for their rent, mortgage, utilities, and food. How essential is it for me to eat? How essential is it for me to take advantage of lights? Pretty essential. Kyle Ron is the president and CEO of United Way of Southern Nevada. She says the $2 million approved by the Nevada Attorney General's Office is a supplement to the emergency food and shelter program. Here's how Nevadans in need can get help. United Way will give the money to nonprofit partners who need to apply. That includes groups like the Salvation Army, Family Promise, and Help of Southern Nevada, which will administer the funds. They do not give it to the recipient directly, they give it to the recipient's landlord lien holder, food vouchers. And when people ask for the assistance, they have to substantiate it by a late notice from their rent, uh, rental um, apartment complex or their mortgage company. Ron says many things may be uncertain right now, but help is on the way. The challenge for us right now is just getting the money into the funds. Those nonprofit partners can apply and get it out to the people. Because they have people at their door right now. The funding will continue to supplement the emergency food and shelter program until the next set federal appropriation is released next fall. Reporting in Las Vegas, Orco Mana, 8 News Now.